blood transfusions, what you need to know and do. Episode 2, Understanding Your Blood. Well, after our appointment with Dr. Smith, I wanted to understand more about red blood cells. Want to join me? Blood is the red liquid that flows through our bodies. It has an important job to deliver oxygen and other nutrients and carry away waste. Mm -hmm. Blood is actually made up of many tiny parts, each with a different job. Red blood cells' job is to carry oxygen all through the person's body. Hemoglobin is the special protein inside red blood cells that carries the oxygen. Oh, okay. Another part of blood is antigens. Antigens are other special proteins on the surface of each red blood cell. They give the cell its blood type. Major blood antigens are the A, B, and RHD antigens. If you have blood type A, you have A antigens on your red blood cells. If you have blood type B, you have B antigens on your red blood cells. If you have blood type AB, you have A and B antigens on your red blood cells. And if you have blood type O, you don't have either A or B antigens on your red blood cells. If the RHD antigen is there, we say the person has a positive blood type. And if the RHD antigen is not there, the person has a negative type. That is how there are eight major blood types, A, B, AB, and O, and positive or negative for each of those depending on whether RHD is present. There are over 300 other antigens a person could have, but they are not usually listed in the blood type name. These are called minor blood antigens. Some of the most important ones for a person with sickle cell disease to know are named C, E, and KEL. I wonder why you need to know this information about major and minor antigens. It's important to know about major and minor antigens because when someone gets a blood transfusion, matching the blood type and the minor antigens between your blood and the donated blood is important for your health. If a patient is given blood with an antigen that their body doesn't recognize, it could cause an antibody to form. The body thinks the blood is foreign and shouldn't be there. It forms antibodies that destroy the transfused red blood cells. Now, if that patient gets transfused later, even years later with blood that has the same foreign antigen, a very serious reaction can occur. That is why the blood for transfusions is carefully matched. People with sickle cell disease can help doctors make the best decisions for them by knowing their blood type and minor antigens, especially the ones in the C, E, and KEL group and whether they ever formed any antibodies to any major or minor antigens. Okay, I've made a note. We can ask Dr. Smith to help us fill in this information about your blood so we can remember it and keep a record to show your doctors. Watch the other videos in the series to learn more about blood transfusions and what you need to know and do.